said May War too. We are about to do some review from our last match, and we're gonna jump into scrims. From the Shanghai match with Kongs. So I clipped a little bit before. Coming into this week, going against Shanghai Dragons for the second time, I think we were cautiously optimistic. And I say that because we've been optimistic twice before. The first time when we were going against Guangzhou Charge, we were pretty confident that we were going to be able to take that series. And well, the results didn't go the way that we wanted to. Going into the first game against Shanghai, same sort of thing. We knew what Shanghai was going to do. We knew what we wanted to do. And although we got the win, it was a 3-2 and that was not the result we wanted and there were a lot of mistakes that we made and we still knew that as a team we could perform better and we've been trying to kind of show everyone just how good of a team we really truly are and we haven't been able to do that. Alright, here we go, five seconds. It's an interesting task when you have to face a team in back-to-back -back weeks. Standard prep for teams, you know, you usually have like a specific level based on what you've seen them play. For us, in this week, it's super unique because we actually played against it. You know their strengths, you know their weaknesses, but your players also just have a lot more of a personal, first-hand experience of what the opponents are good at and what they are bad at. It kind of ends up working out where, you know, both teams have their initial play style, and then you have like a counter to that play style, and you can go even deeper to a counter to the counter of that play style. And so we had that, that stuff kind of prepped, um, whether it was stylistically or individually, um, compositionally, you know, all kinds of things you have prepped for that. And it's not just scouting what mistakes we made, but you have to scout our own team as if we're an enemy team. What things do we think Shanghai would want to exploit? So you can not only have the entire coaching staff working through VODs, overheads, and comms, tearing apart that entire match, looking at things from every single angle. You can also get the players offering their opinion, and when you do actually start approaching them, the players are going to just be that much more confident in the plans and the strategies that we're discussing, presenting, and deciding upon. Overall, I think this week was really good for us, um, just in general from uh, how practice was going to you know, the matches, everything in between. So this week was a really good week for us. Uh, we won most of our scrims. Everyone was motivated. Everyone was doing his job. Everyone was trying to improve. And I think we, we were ready to play uh, against Shanghai for the second time. Goats. On match day, I think there's there's kind of two two schools of thought that was happening for that match day. A lot of players don't like being the late match, the last match where you have to show up towards the end and then you, you know it's going to be a long night. But everyone knew the situation we were in. You know, as long as we could take this win, it looks really good for us for playoffs. That combined with how practice went this week, I think everyone was having a good time. We were able to chill out and be a team and just have some fun before the match actually started. The team was feeling good. Game day stretches? Yes. <laughs> to do the... What is it called? Oh, this one. Yeah, pre game. <laughs> Teams playing well. Calm. As long as they kind of win the first map, just get in the flow. Should do pretty well. It was a very important match for us because even though we had a positive win loss, we didn't have a positive map differential. Um, so we knew that this match we needed to win decisively because going into playoffs, it's going to come down to map differential. And us being on the lower end of that means that, you know, we're still on the edge of whether or not we can make it um, regardless of what the score is. So we knew that this was a 4-0 that we needed to get and we were going to get it. Since we all played really good in practice and we were all confident for this match, yeah, we, we were just all confident and we knew if we were doing our plans, we were done. It would be fine. And the victors last time, it's time to welcome them back to the stage once more. It's the Dallas Fuel. Oh, oh. RCK to take to the sky and trying to oh. hope find, find something. Well, over the edge. I don't think Diem and Gums were ready for that one. It was forced to go into Shadow Forward, back up on the point though. Two environmental kills. AKM and Zachary go over the edge and now the Dragons are in position to flip this one back. So Diem just needs to find the pick up closer, but the sound barrier is making it impossible to find. Yongjin elsewhere gets headshot by Unko and removed. Dallas have control of the point, but the reinforcements are coming for the fuel, and Diem's down! If he's trying to get to the point, and Lucy's trying to knock him away. He's done a pretty good job so far. Lucy's very scared. Let's go! Let's go! They can't even believe it! I can't believe it! I say that all the time! Okay, alright, listen. 
You guys are f***ing insane. The Sanctum fight, I think, is one that people will remember for a long time. The fact that we pulled that off was a big, big motivator going into the next map. But now can they follow it up? Gamsu swinging very heavily towards the Dallas Field plays that was knocked down by the shadow. And that's a huge combo! Oh, it's nasty! Luffy now is just gonna get wrecked! You know, with a Reinhardt going against the Sombra, it makes your life even more difficult. Yeah. Ooh, damn! Damn! Go top! 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 Go Going into halftime, being up 2-0 is a great feeling for all the players and all the coaches. I mean, to be honest, like every team, when you go to the dugout after the two maps and you won those two maps, like you feel confident, you are already, you're happy. So there was confidence coming in at the halftime. Everyone was all smiles. The, pretty much the best advice we had for the players was to keep it together, keep focused, and keep doing what you're doing because you already have the answers. Remember, be confident about rotations. Our rotations have been very good, okay? You got the finish. We knew that we could take this 4-0. It's something we haven't done this season yet, and we really wanted to do it. We drop on them and we kill them. What a finish. A poking. A, oh. a repair pack got used on Guardian. That's how much the Dragons care about. Oh. Uncle would hide behind OG and Gamsu gets taken down. He actually had, really had nowhere to go. In a pitch battle, head to head. Winston struggles against Reinhardt, shielding the rest of his team. Gamsu can have a back way in or a way to get anything done. Dallas Fuel go 3 and 0 in this series. We won two CP. And this is our birthplace, boys. We won a 2 CP map. It is possible. Hi, right, boys. Stay confident. Make sure we're doing this good. Don't talk to us. Shut up. That's what I thought. <laughs> and poor horse. And then happy. Go happy. They have really close to switch to the Ana here because they know they're not going to be Wow, Dig! And he's got. Oh! He's oh. trying to hack him down. He's just too deep. He's too deep. He's too deep. He's too deep. But now the Dragons are without him. Yonji's also gone down. Look at that. EMP connects here and it hits very hard. Four players. RCK's got EMP as well. He's going to use it back now. Four players on the Shanghai Dragons. Gatsu got already. AK has found DM. Up towards the side. Travis Jones is the middle. Oh my god! Thank you, Dig. Sure. <laughs>Pretty much as soon as we won Nepal, uh, I thought that we were going to win the, the match overall. I had said it earlier, I had leaned over to Tickety and basically told him, I was like, hey, if we win Village, we're going to 4-0 this series. We didn't end up winning Village, but the same level of energy was gained after that crazy overtime fight on Sanctum, that as soon as that happened, and as soon as we saw what uh, the Shanghai Dragons were attempting, it was very, very clear that it was either going to be a 4-0 or a 3-1, and we ended up getting the 4-0. You know, the feelings after, we felt like we were going to win regardless. And we felt like 4-0 was something that we should do. So everyone was, was very happy and it was definitely a relief. All right, listen, listen, listen. All right, look, <laughs> great job today. Seriously, serious, good job. Um, this is a huge deal because now we're set up to go to playoffs. All right, boys, and that's fantastic. For the first time in history, we have a positive map win record for the season. Yeah. So great job today, guys. But we have one more match we still got to do well in. So we're gonna focus up this week on Boston and we're gonna own it, all right? GG's. So the things that stand out is simply Unko's performance. It was otherworldly with how good he was playing. And it was really a lot of satisfaction personally since I do work with him so closely to have seen all of the things that we had discussed, all of the changes that we had made, just seeing all of that hard work come into fruition and see it on the big screen was really a lot of satisfaction personally. And I know that Unko uh, was certainly proud of his performance, especially since he got named the player of the match. I think we just, I mean, I played very well, of course, and I'm proud of me for this match, but like, I think we just played as a team and like, everyone did, did his job, like I couldn't, I, I couldn't play that well if my team was not supporting me. It feels good to know that you know improvements are showing. Even though not e you know every map wasn't perfect, I mean, we don't expect people to be perfect. We expect people to give their best, and and as long as we're improving, you know we'll get there. And it, the improvements were showing. We're getting better, and we're we're a legitimate team. We we, we didn't win off flukes. Like you know we've been putting in hard work to get there, and we're getting there.
This match was extremely important for us. Coming in here strong and getting a 4-0 against Shanghai uh, bumped our map score into the positives for the first time, which was really exciting and put us in a good place for playoffs. Well, I think we still have a lot of work because of course I think if we are in playoff, we need to work a lot because like the teams we are gonna play against, like they're gonna be really, really good and well prepared. So yeah, uh, I think we are confident to play our match against Boston, but we still need to, to work on our mistakes. The team right now, I think we're finally coming into our own on stage. You know, I, I knew going into it that it would take us a couple of weeks to warm up. And I think it's pretty clear that the beginning of the stage compared to where we are now, there's, there's some pretty big differences in our team play. I think that's kind of expected. Um, but to see it come to fruition right now is, is a really cool thing, you know, for the team, for the staff, for everybody, and for the fans. You know, we're improving every single day. And we're getting to the point where our synergy is, you know, getting really good. And even though we're not perfect yet, um, we know that as long as we keep going, you know, we're going to get there. And stage playoffs isn't just reality, but, you know, winning stage playoffs or being number one in our division um, eventually is going to be something that we shoot for.